Welcome everybody. Film fan went away here to another Dollar Tree movie hunting video. That's right, we are back at the Dollar Trees to check out the $1 sale. And didn't we do this recently? Like, I feel like we have done the sale recently, man, not too long ago. Uh, this sale is happening faster and faster every single time. It feels like like not much time has passed since the last one so we're definitely at it again dollar tree has new stock in big name releases b movie titles um weird titles that i've never even heard of before they have a variety of stuff every single time the sale happens and this time well we'll see what they got guys and we are at our first dollar tree location oh i am very interested to see what they have with this sale this time guys it's the sale recently happened not too long ago, and they're back at it again. So let's check out all the variety that the Dollar Trees have to offer. All right, everybody, we are at the first Dollar Tree location right here, and they have a small amount of DVDs and Blu-rays. Nothing major here, but uh, still a decent amount to show off, man. And the first thing I'm seeing here is they have La Petite, what, whatever the hell that says, Downfall of a Champion, inspired by a true story, engaging film. When they got that, they've got Treasure State. Hmm, interesting. An adventure for the entire family. Okay, not sure what the hell this is. In this family, friendly adventures. Uh, until a plane carrying cargo of great importance crashes in the snow covered mountains. An adventure that will. Sort of like. Of like a fight for survival type of movie. Hmm. God, I've never heard of this one. Hmm. Huh. That looks interesting. Treasure State. They've got... Ooh, Atomica with Dominic Monaghan and Tom Sizemore. Nice. Look at that. Cool, interesting B-movie sci-fi right there. Hmm. Truth is best kept off the grid. Nice. Look, look at Dominic Monaghan looking all badass. Yeah, baby. Look at that. In the near future, when communications go offline, a remote nuclear power plant. So fine. Huh, that's interesting. I like Dominic Monaghan, dude. You know, it's unfortunate because he doesn't get a lot of work, dude. I loved him in Lost. I loved him in Lord of the Rings. And he kind of dropped off of the map, dude. Like... Like, I, I like him in a few, like, indie projects, but really, he doesn't get much work anymore. Which is a real shame, dude. I mean, he was in he was in Star Wars Episode Nine, but he just had, like, a barely speaking role. It really sucked, dude. Hmm. I like a good sci-fi movie, though. It doesn't look half bad. Hmm. Tomica. I also have... <laughs> they, they have Jutopia. That's great. Oh man, me being a Jew, I have to, I, I have to just say how awesome this is, Jutopia. Oh my God, look at that. Jesus, man. Look at the cast: Jennifer Love Hewitt, Tom Arnold, Joel David Moore, John Lovitz, Peter Stormare, Rita Wilson. That's a great cast, dude. I love the name though, Jutopia. That's so great. Christian O'Connell. Uh, huh, that kind of looks cool, man. I'm not going to lie. Me coming from like a Jewish family and all sort of the Jewish stereotypes that I've seen over the years, this has got to be pretty funny, man. This has got to be pretty hilarious, dude. Huh. That's interesting, Jutopia. Hmm. I also got Lost Wilderness. Ooh, and a Dove approved. Very nice right there. An adventure about faith, hope, and families. Just saying, well, ho hopefully they don't get fucked up by the bear. Sheesh. An adventure they'll never forget. Your siblings. Hope, humor. Hmm. Interesting. With a bear. 
probably like the family friendly version of, of like the edge or something but instead of like the bear really going out of its way to to fuck up like anthony hopkins and alec baldwin they'd probably become friends with the bear oh why don't the bear just rip into shreds you know what i'm saying i know i'm evil like that hmm and that real real lie which i think we may have seen this before immortality is only a matter of time Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting sort of sci-fi tale. Huh. Kind of looks cool. Hmm. Real live. Looks interesting. They've also got a Blu-ray of Nerdland. What is this? The unrated with Paul Rudd and Patton Oswald. Nobody wants to be a nobody until they're a somebody. Oh, well, that's interesting. I like that. What is this? I've never heard of this movie. Interesting sort of animated film? Family Major Paul Rudd. 30th birthday looming, a dispersion growing. They decided in. There. That looks cool, man. I like. I like some weird. Some weird animated movies that are. Uh, that are really sort of kind of perverse and their sense of humor is not quite politically correct. This kind of looks like that, dude. Huh. This looks kind of cool, man. I gotta, I might have to give this one a chance, dude. I love Paul Rudd. I didn't know he did anything lie like this, man. I've never heard of Nerdland before. That's really cool, dude. If you guys know much about Nerdland, let, let me know. That one looks awesome. Mm. They also have the 5,000 Fingers of Dr. T. Songs You'll Never Stop Singing. This looks really weird. Look at that cover, man. That looks really odd. Huh. The Enchanting Wonder Music. The imagination of a nine-year-old boy becomes vividly to life in fun-filled fantasy from Dr. Seuss. Really? I never, I never heard of this one from Dr. Seuss. That looks really weird and bizarre, man. Wow, I've never heard of this one, dude. And I am a fan of Dr. Seuss, but maybe there's some that have passed me by. This is one of them. The 5,000 Fingers of Dr. T on Blu-ray. No, dude, I've never heard of this one, man. This is unique to me. Definitely let me know what you guys think of this. Hmm. And then they've got... Oh, another Blu-ray. They've got Guns, Girls, and Gambling with Christian Slater, Dane Cook, and Gary Oldman. Look at that, dude. Gary Oldman's playing like a Elvis impersonator? Dude, just when you think you've seen everything from G Gary Oldman, you... You find some weird dollar Blu-ray action beam movie. I never knew he actually started in a movie with Dane Cook, of all people. It is weird, dude. Double down on action. Academy Award nominee Gary Oldman. Dane Cook headlines outrageous. About greed, revenge, and a desert full of dead Elvis impersonators. This is weird, dude. Wow, man. Like, like, this movie kind of reminds me of that movie with um, Kurt Russell and Kevin Costner where they're they're dressed up as Elvis impersonators and they're trying to sort of, like, like rob this bank or something. It kind of reminds me of that, man. This is so weird. Gary Oldman, Dane Cook in a movie together. I, I, that, that blows my mind, dude. Wow. Let me know what you guys think of that one. Hmm, that's interesting. They have Top Gear from A to Z. They have, ooh, Better Living Through Chemistry with Sam Rockwell, Olivia Wilde, Michelle Monaghan, Ray Liotta, and Jane Fonda. That is a nice cast. I heard about this movie, but I've never actually seen it before. That is really cool, man. That, that looks kind of fun, man. I've heard really good things about about better living through chemistry so i might have to actually pick this up to check it out man what, what a cast dude 
That's really good. And you, you rarely ever see Jane Fonda in anything anymore, do you? You really don't. She's on that, like, Netflix show, but you rarely see her in something. That's a great cast, man. Hmm. You have Susie's Hope. Isn't a true story. What's this about? Recognizing neglect and abuse. Hmm. Looks interesting. Susie's Hope. They've got... Chosen. With John Schneider, Robert Davi, Ernie Hudson. Nice. Hmm. Every nobody is somebody. Ah, there we go. And another dub approved. Yes. I actually met um, John Schneider. I met him at a convention. He 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 has, he screened his horror movie that he did called uh, uh, Smothered, like a couple years back. And I met the dude. Seems really nice, but it's kind of weird that that he's in this sort of like you know faith based type of movie. It's a Wonderful Life meets the Twilight Zone. That's that's a weird combo, dude. Huh. Hmm. And yeah, and he's he's sort of in this sort of like religious type of faith based movie, and then he did this horror movie where sort of this chick in the horror movie she like smothers pe people with her boobs. Like <laughs> like 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 totally opposite, man. Hmm. Interesting. God. The Widow's yeah. Might, hmm, with, really? Eric, hmm, I've never heard of this one before, it's interesting, hmm, a wonderful faith-based inspiring film that will entertain the entire family, John and Cameron are filmmakers within the dream of winning, we can do find their film, right. the little faces lose their home, eh, it looks like your standard drama, nothing really special on, on Widow's, Widow's Might. Uh, then they got, uh, The Slider, with Tom Sizemore, Bruce Davidson, and Daryl Hannah. Nice. Saving lives can be deadly. God, th that's another actress that really doesn't get a lot of work, is there Daryl Hannah, man. She's a real shame, dude. I think the last thing I really saw her in a big starring role was, was was the Kill Bill films. That was really the last thing I really majorly saw her in. Which is a real shame, dude. I like Daryl Hannah quite a bit, man. And she needs to get more love, but of course, Tom Sizemore, come on, straight straight to DVD guy, man. Of course he is. Hmm. The Slider. That looks interesting. Probably just for Dar Dar Daryl Hannah alone. Interesting. Journey to Space, which we saw the last time. Heavenly Sword. With Alfred Molina, Anna Torben, Thomas Jane. The best-selling PlayStation video game is now an animated feature film. I've never actually heard of Heavenly Sword. See, I'm not, I'm not really much of a video game guy. I, back in the day, I used to be, but that was sort of like Super Nintendo, Sega days. You know, I kind of got into a little bit of the PlayStation stuff, but never heard of Heavenly Sword. Kind of looks like a cool little animated action film, though. Hmm. I do really like Anna, Anna Torv a lot, man. I like the cover, though. The cover's really badass. I like that one a lot. Not bad. Burn calories by dancing. Nope. I got that. I have also got... Griddle House with Luke Perry, Charisma Carpenter. Not bad. Dude... Rest in peace, Luke P Perry, dude. Luke Perry, dude, died way before his time, man. Last thing I saw him in was that Quentin Tarantino m movie, dude. He did a good job, man. But he, he was a good actor, dude. It was a shame he passed away. Hmm. Looks interesting. The Griddle House. Hmm. They've also got... The Great Buck Howard, which I believe we saw at one of the sales previously. I'm almost certain we did. Great cast, though, man. John Malkovich, Colin Hanks, Emily Blonde, Steve Zahn. Great cast, dude. Greatness is a state of mind. That is clearly a toupee. Just saying. Mm, very funny. Don't leave that for the You know what? I might have actually watched this. 
I might have watched this one because I, I'm almost positive I remember this movie now. Now that I'm kind of looking at it and looking at the synopsis, I kind of remember this. If I remember why, it was a while ago, but I remember actually kind of liking this one. I love John, John Malkovich, dude. He's one quirky-ass guy, dude. He, but he's a one hell of an actor, man. Huh. I remember liking this. It's been so long, I can barely remember it, though. Huh. And they've got Dirk Gently, which we did see the previous sale. Now, I did actually pick this up and see season one, but I have not got a, gotten a chance to watch it yet. I've been so freaking busy with, like, watching movies and everything that I haven't had a chance to, to watch any of the, the two seasons yet. But I'm definitely, I definitely can't wait to check it out, though. Hmm. Oh, uh, Widow's Might, Entourage, the movie, which we see now pretty much at every single sale of the Dollar Tree, man. It's kind of kind of like they just keep on giving them Entourage, the movie, because no one else is willing to take it, obviously. Uh, London Spy, which I believe we saw the last time as well. Ben Wishaw, Jim Broad, Broadbent, great cast. Ben Wishaw plays a great Q. He's really great at Q, man. I, I really love, I like him in the newer Bond films. Looks like a cool little British spy thriller, man. Not bad. Hmm. Not bad at all. It's pretty cool. We got Lost Wilderness again. We got Touchy Feely with Allison Janney, Scoop McNary, Ellen Page. Kind of looks like one of those sort of like indie darling movies. A self-improved comedy. Very nice. Look at that. Very cool. A comedy drama powered by a cast that radiates indomitable warmth. Huh. Abby is... Huh. Healing touch. Again, kind of looks kind of like an interesting quirky comedy. Interesting. Touchy-feely. Never heard of this one. I kind of like the cover, though. Hmm. Let's see, The Great Buck Howard, Wild West, BBC Earth, Meet the Animals of the Legendary American West. Oh, with, with like the majestic horses and everything. Hmm, that's cool, not that. They also have American Wrestler, which we have seen before in previous sales as well. We've seen that one. Uh, the Phenom, which we definitely have seen before. Great cast on that one. Uh, they also have the Dragons of Camelot. Oh, look at that cheesy. Look at that cheesy dragon, dude. That looks really terrible. Oh, my God. That looks that looks really bad. Oh, my God, dude. Wow. That just spells really terrible. Whoa. From Arthur's Ashes, a legend will rise. The kingdom of Camelot is plunged into darkness after the death of noble King Arthur. I mean, it has the potential to be cool. It's a cool story, but it it looks cheap as fuck. Oh, whoa, dude! It looks really cheap. We found some we 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 found some cheapos before at Dollar Tree, man. Add this one to the list, dude. Whoa, man. Look at that. Um, Curious George, Egg Hunting, Treasure State. One there. Got Susie's Hope. Same ones here. The Stream, which we saw before as well. Uh, her. Of course, we keep, we keep seeing this this one, and this is a phenomenal mo movie, guys. I love this movie so much, man. And especially now that Joaquin Phoenix sort of won the Oscar, I think a lot of people are going back and watching some of his previous films to sort of sort of check some of his uh, filmography out. Her is highly recommended by far, man. It's it's a highly recommended movie. This is a great film, very emotional, heartfelt has its weird moments and is definitely its dark comedic moments as well. Really, really fantastic, dude. That one, they have... Ooh, special with Michael Rappaport. Nice. I've seen this one with, with Rappaport, dude. This is a good one. Really, really funny. Michael Rappaport is really great. And it's a guy that sort of... Sort of 
accidentally gets superpowers out of this sort of drug testing, which is really interesting, man. I thought it was kind of funny, man. It, it had its, 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 its moments. Uh, I, I like this. And I'm not a huge fan of Michael Rappaport. He's good. I like some of the stuff he's done before. But I'm not a huge, like, lover of his work, man. But I thought Special was really cool, dude. And it kind of reminded me a little bit of that Woody Harrelson movie, Defendor. Kind of reminded me of that, too, man. Those are some really, like, quirky superhero beam move movies that don't get a lot of love sometimes. But they're actually pretty cool. Yeah, I like this one quite a bit, guys. They do have that. They have When Calls the Heart. Noah's Ark for the kids. They've got 10 items or less, the complete series on DVD. Now, I've actually never seen any of 10 items or less. I don't know if it's good. I don't know if it's bad. I don't know anything really about this, man. I've heard it's not terrible, though. I heard, I heard it's actually kind of quirky and funny. Hmm. A spazzier, faster-moving office. And I do really like The Office. Hmm, definitely let me know what you guys think of 10 items or less. I like the cover, actually. The cover's pretty cool. Then they have... Remember. Ooh. Hmm. Interesting. What is this? Oh, another, another Dove-approved one. Interesting. The future will not divide us. In the year 2050, society now relies on memory of blocking drugs to cope with their lives... Jeez, can I have some, some of what they're having? Jeez. See the series of unusual messages that challenge him to remember the past. Huh. Sure will not divide us. Do you remember back in the day, like in the 80s and everything, like when they did futuristic movies, they did them in like 1997 or like two, 2000 or something, and they were like, ooh, this is the future. And, and it was so like futuristic and sci-fi like. And then when you got to the actual year, you're like, Wait a minute, we don't have flying cars and all that shit. What the hell, man? I have a feeling that once 2050 hits, we're going to look back, back on, on movies like this and be like, Really? Why, why, why can't we have these drugs, man? Hmm. Kind of, kind of looks cool, actually. They have Buff Moms. Okay. They have... A telling silence. Oh, uh, another when calls the heart one. Uh, you know, r uh, romantic cheese ball stuff. Yeah. Oh, and Dove approved again. God, we're seeing a lot of these Dove approved ones, man. Yo, uh, Blue Planet. They've got Born to Royalty. Yeah, pass on that shit. Uh, Bible mysteries. Okay, not really something I'm into. Moon Trap. Look at that cover. That's a really cool cover, man. One small step for man, one giant battle for a woman. <laughs> nice. I like that, man. Moon Trap Target Earth. Hmm. Everything is not under control. I like that. A woman named. There was an ancient space craft under it. Kind of has some cool sci fi futuristic vibes, man. Not bad, dude. Hmm. That was really cool. Moon Trap. I may have to check this one out. Kind of looks fun. Got Wild Wedding, which we've seen before. They've got Best Man Down with Justin Long, Tyler Labine, Francis O'Connor, and Shelley Long. Really? God, it's been so long since I've seen Sh Shelley Long in anything. Huh. Looks like another one of those sort of indie darling ty uh, type of movies, too. Hmm. Sort of romantic indie stuff. Interesting. I'd watch it just for Shelly Long, man. Shelly Long, God. It's been so long since I've seen Shelly Long and stuff, man. Like, um, True, like True Beverly Hill, if you guys remember that one. And some of the stuff she did with, with Bette Midler. God. Man, I haven't seen something for a long time. Hmm. Uh, let's see here. They have Queen and Country, which is probably another, another one of those sort of... Romantic BBC films. Hmm. Them that. They have Pilates. 
and cardio dance now okay they have all that they have I, bleh, more of this royal life crap phenom amazing ocean 3d oh that's interesting seeing a 3d blu-ray release here man of amazing ocean i've always loved these sort of like documentaries where they go like in the wild or in the ocean and everything and really show off sort of the life that lives down there and 3d that probably is really cool dude hmm for a dollar that's not bad you got that they've got the united states military a history of heroes it's not bad on blu-ray very cool for uh, for all you military fans out there. Not bad at all. They've got the town that came a courting with Valerie Harper, Lauren. God, Lauren Holly. She's talking about a name I hadn't heard in a long time. Kind of like Dumb and Dumber, Lauren Holly. Man, she was like a she was like a hot, hot chick back in the day, dude. Yo. Oh, another Dove approved one. I mean, whatever happened to Lauren Holly? Talk, talk about uh, another another actress that went the way of the dinosaur. Huh. God. What a blast from the past that uh, that is. Yo. Uh, open Road, which I believe we've seen Open Road before, but maybe not. Julia Lewis, Andy Garcia. That oh, looks cool. Hmm. Where will the road take her? Yeah, we're down here. Let's do it. A coming of age story huh interesting coming of age tale open road interesting they got natural selection anthony michael hall kate M mcnamara that's interesting survive high school yeah yeah good luck with that one Jeez. know your friends sort of like a high school drama it's kind of interesting that it's got Anthony M Michael Hall, sort of, sort of the, the the king of teenage movies, in here. Kind of, kind of looks interesting to me, man. Natural selection. Hmm. Interesting. They've got the stream, griddle house, one million happy nows, which we did see previously. Uh, the Musketeers for BBC. That's interesting. Hmm. For love, for honor, for adventure. Three just said. I do like movies about, like, the Musketeers, but there isn't many, at least I don't think there's many good ones. There was that one with with Charlie Sheen and Kiefer Sutherland, which I like quite a bit, man, but uh, not not a fan of a lot of them, dude. They, they, they did a Three Musketeers movie, like, a two or so years back, like, the Paul W.S. Anderson one, which was really dog shit, but... Generally, I'm not a fan of them, though. There's a couple I like, but not many. Hmm. They've got Lost City, Andy Garcia, Dustin Hoffman, Bill Murray. And directed by Andy Garcia. That's interesting. That's a good cast. Huh. Havana in 1958, a place for pleasure for many. Others are not the rule of dictator. Fidel Castro. Interesting. Huh. Nah, dude. Never heard about this one either. Murray Garcia. Hoffman. That's a great cast, dude. No, I never heard of this one at all. This one I might, might, might have to at least check out, dude. Cause that, this one looks interesting. Lost City. Musketeers. Norman Lear. I believe we've seen this before at the sale. Remember... Basmati Blues, which we've seen this one one before as well. Uh, Mighty Super Machines Making Waves. That's interesting. Got that. He got Bill. Some are born great. Others, not so much. Imagine Shakespeare in love with Monty Python. Now that is a very interesting combination, man sort of a comedy about Shakespeare in sort of the sort of realm of Monty Python very interesting I like Monty Python I'm not in love with Monty Python but I like them hmm interesting I I, I sort of am interesting in sort of the Shakespeare angle of it but with 
Monty Python added into it. That could be kind of interesting. Let me know what you guys think of Bill. Hmm. Um, nativity. God, how many times have they they made the, the nativity story? It's interesting. Uh, Utopia. C ceremony with Uma Thurman. She loves him. She loves him not. One of the year's most surprising, charming, and utterly ingenious films. Ceremony. Uma Thurman. You don't really get to see that much of Uma Thurman anymore e e either. And she's such a good actress, too. Huh. Looks like an, an, an amusing film. Definitely, de definitely something worth checking out. We're also seeing here they have Earth, the biography, the story of our world, BBC video. That's interesting. Hmm, they have that. That's probably really gorgeous on, on Blu-ray. That probably looks really great. They also have Trash with Martin Sheen and Rooney Mara. That is interesting. A Stephen Daltrey film, the director of Hours and the Reader. Huh. Never heard of this one either, man. We're seeing a lot of stuff at this Dollar Tree I've never heard of, man. At all. What they discover will change everything. One at a time. When three trade freaking was it? Yes. Huh. That looks interesting, dude. That looks really, really fascinating to me. Huh. That does trash. Oh, that was, that was kind of cool, actually. Then I'm seeing over here they have more... More Jillian Michaels goodness. Of course, you know how much Dollar Tree loves their Jillian Michaels. Oh, brother. They've got... Discover Planet Ocean. Another one of those really great, great sort of uh, undersea do documentaries. Hmm. That's really cool. They've got... Boyne Falls. Jump or die. Well, this is cool. Hmm. Two business partners and former friends try to reconnect by going on a work retreat to see if there is anything left in their friendship to salvage. Can't be driven. The remote wilderness quickly unravels as they stumble upon a rural home that is from for a meth lab. Kill to keep it a secret. Interesting. So it's kind of like a drama survival movie of of trying to like get away from uh, from these drug people. Interesting. Boy and Fall, they got that. Got the stream. Planet Ocean. More Jillian Michaels goodness, or not. Windows Might. Lost Wilderness. Oh, wow. They have T2 train spotting, dude. That is crazy. That they have the DVD of this for a dollar, dude. That's ridiculous, man. Wow, that is so awesome that they have this. I was not expecting T2 train spotting at all, man. That is awesome. Dude, I gotta admit, I love T2 train spotting. I know a lot of people were probably like wanting it to be like just like the first film, but I think I really like where they went with the characters being older and they're still sort of doing these weird hijinks, but it's actually kind of kind of cool. Actually, I really like how they grew up and and where they took the characters and everything. I still think it's a crazy and wild film, but I, I think it's actually really cool, dude. I, I really do. I really enjoy this one quite a bit, man. Kind of actually, actually kind of underrated, I think. But really, but really a wild, crazy film, dude. That's crazy to see this for a dollar, man. That's really nuts, man. That's really cool. They got Train Spotting 2. Learning to Drive, which we've seen before. They've got Worst Week, the complete series what in the hell is this monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday and sunday well, that is interesting i have never heard of worst week at all man it looks kind of really weird and crazy man look look at that uh, i've never heard of it man it kind of looks wait a minute is that the guy from the 70s show Holy shit! No, I've never heard of this one, man. It kind of looks really fun. I might have to actually check this out at some point. Where's Week is... That looks so weird and bizarre, dude. 
Let me know what you guys think of Worst Wake. Um, they've got the Lone Ranger High Old Silver Away. We saw this, of course, uh, the, the the last sale as well. Eight episodes of the uh, the original. Hmm, yeah, that. They also have that Dragons of Cam Camelot. Okay, the, God, that still looks so bad, guys. But I'm so surprised, especially about that that T2 train spotting, dude. Honestly, if you're a fan of train spotting, first of all, definitely watch the first train spotting. But if you are a very interested in where these characters went, definitely check this out because it's really fantastic, man. I. I went in, I remember watching this in the movies with my friend Ron, and we were a big fan of the first film, and we were kind of hesitant because we weren't sure how this was going to be, but it really surprised us, man. I really enjoyed this one quite quite a bit, dude. And if you guys have seen enough of the videos, you guys know how much I love Ewan McGregor, and he rocks in this, dude. That's really cool that they have that, man. And some very interesting ver variety on top of the popcorn, which you guys definitely... We're big on the popcorn last time. You guys were like all over the popcorn and you guys definitely recommended me to get some. So I just might do it this time, but I got a couple other places to go. So we'll definitely see what else we can find, ma'am. But um, some very interesting selection and variety here. A lot of titles that definitely I did not hear about but before, but damn glad to check it out here. This is a smaller dot Dollar Tree. They still got a decent amount. All right, not bad. Let's head out. I was honestly really surprised this time around because going into a smaller Dollar Tree location, I thought, okay, we're not going to get a lot of stuff to show off this time, especially how soon the sale was from last time. Like, this is really a fast turnaround, man. So I was like, okay, we're not going to get a lot of really interesting titles to check out here, but I am really surprised, man. A lot of really interesting indie stuff, some weird B-movies, some big-name releases, and a lot of unknown titles that I've definitely never heard of, but I'm very fascinated by. And some weird sort of TV shows as well. Yeah, some really good variety here, especially at a smaller Dollar Tree, which gives me hope for the other Dollar Trees as well. And especially all the Dollar Trees that you go to as well. You might find some really good variety, guys. I definitely found some here. Let's head to the next location and see what goodies we'll be able to find. All right, everybody, we are at our second Dollar Tree location. You know, honestly, the first has been really, really plentiful. We had a lot of really, really great stuff to show off, man. And I'm actually really excited about what we're actually going to see at the second location. Hopefully some different variety and some weird and unique titles we're talking about. Let's head in. Check it out. Alright guys, we are in the second Dollar Tree location and wow, it looks like they've been picked over quite a lot, man, already, dude. There, there probably was a lot more here and they got picked over big time. We're going to see what we can find though, man. And the first thing is the God Inside My Ear. And I think we actually did see this last time during the sale, if I'm not mistaken. Huh, I believe we did. I remember that cover art, though. It kind of looks like a, like, like a cool film, though, man. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, actually, it looks really cool. They do have that. They have... Oh, yes, When Calls the Heart. Of course, they have, have some cheesy romance flicks here, guys. They have... Ooh, body toners. Something that I'll never have, have in my life is, is a toned bo body. Hmm. They do have that. They have the United States military. Saw that before. They have Quantum Voyage with Dean Kane and Malcolm McDowell. Look at this. That's an, I like the cover. Dean Kane and Malcolm McDowell. One that's a weird team up, dude, of of, of a movie, man. One, a very acclaimed actor, and the other one, not so much. Okay. Huh. And he just... The universe will never be the same. That looks really interesting. Huh. I, it could be good, or it could be cheesy. Because it's got Dean Cain in it, so I'm not sure about that one. But Malcolm McDowell. God, that looks interesting, too. Hmm. Also got 
Oh, well, of course we had to have seen Breaking Dawn. Aye, aye. It's like we're seeing it all the time now. Yeah. Just get used to it, guys. We're probably going to be seeing these in a lot, of, a lot of the sales. Mm. We got the Blu-ray of Ninja Assassin. We have seen this previously. They do have that. Treasure State before. Open Road. Ceremony. Ice Age Giants. Wooly Mammoth. Secrets from the Ice. This is... This is actually just talking about woolly mammoths and everything, but they're trying to kind of capitalize on the Ice Age franchise at the same time by by doing even the same kind of font and name recognition. It's so weird. Hmm. It's interesting. Ice Age Giants. They do have that. Uh, let's see what else they got here. They got... Ah, more Treasure State. Oh, Treasure State goodness. They've got... <laughs> Utopia. Oh boy. I just have a feeling we're definitely going to be seeing more, uh, more of this, man, for sure. Oh, they do have Ju uh, Utopia. Hmm. Uh, they have. Oh. They have the casual vacancy. Oh. Hmm. That's interesting. I do remember us seeing this, but I haven't. I never have actually gotten it yet. But it always looked kind of cool. Because it's based on the the J.K. Rowling novel, which still kind of shocks me, because I've I've never actually looked into her. I just thought, oh, she's she's just sort of the Harry Potter author. Never really thought she did anything else, but it looked interesting to me, man. Hmm. One day I'm gonna have to pick this up. They have Arthur Newman, which we have seen before at other sales. They do have that. They have Life Partners with Adam Brody and Jillian Jacobs. Huh. One guy can ruin the perfect relationship. Yep, that's, yeah, that's pretty true. Um, an ideal example of a buddy comedy. The most long-term relationship I have ever been is with each other. Using equipment for an excuse to not to venture out into the dating room alone. It's Tim. It's her experience. She's being kissed aside. Well, that's interesting. Sort of a, a romantic sort of buddy comedy. But more from the women's angle than anything else. That kind of looks interesting. Life partners. I gotta admit, I'm not a huge fan of Adam Brody, though. I'm really not. I mean, he's done a few interesting things, but I can't say I really love him, though. I think it's got to be the right part, but it kind of looks interesting, though. Hmm, life partners. They also have... Wow, that's a young John Wayne. Wow. America's classic hero. Hmm. John Wayne is without a doubt the quintessential all-American hero. Yeah, I was... You know what? I never really got into a lot of John Wayne stuff. I really never did. It goes to the whole, like, me not really loving westerns type of deal. And John Wayne was mainly that. I mean, there are some John Wayne titles that I really love, but not a ton. Huh. He's, he's done a ton of westerns, though, man. Damn. Heyday in the 1930s. Jesus, man. He is young in this. Wow. And interesting stuff for all you John Wayne fans out there. Hmm. Got the Blu-ray of her. We've got... Beach Pilates. Pass. They've got... Oh, they've got that Worst Week one. But still, look at that, man. Oh, God. That, 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 that just looks so weird, man. I gotta, I gotta figure that one out. And check that one. Wait. Baseball star Giancarlo Stanton did an athletic yoga video? What? That's really weird, man. That is so odd. Like, and, and a baseball star doing a yoga video. Hmm. That, 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 well, that's an oddity. I'm not going to lie about that one. Uh, more fitness stuff. The Great Buck Howard. Nativity. Rising Stars, which I believe we did see the last time, though. And, of course, this is another Dove-approved one. Three bands, three directors, one chance at stardom. 
kind of one of those sort of family mu- musicals sort of, sort of riffing off the whole American Idol stuff. Eh. Hmm. Doesn't look terrible, but probably not my, my thing. Prince Avalanche with Paul Rudd and Emil Hirsch. I have heard of this one. I did, man. I never got a chance to watch this one, though. This is an, another one of those sort of sort of indie comedy darling uh, type of movies, dude. But I did hear about it, but I never got a chance to watch this, this actually. I heard it's sort of like one of those sort of quirky comedies. It's directed by David Gordon and Green, who's done a lot of cool sort of quirky stuff in the past. Hmm. Interesting. Prince of Avalanche. I might have to give this one a look. That's really cool that they have this here. I haven't seen that 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 one around at any of the stores. We have the Palmer Supremacy with Lance Henriksen, Thomas Decker, and Lindsay McKeon. One idea will cost us everything. The Palmer Supremacy. Lance, dude, I I I love Lance, dude. I really do. But the, but the guy, honestly, Lance Henriksen is not really doing any sort of major like starring roles anymore. He's doing more like cameo and small bits. But I still love love the dude. Kind of looks interesting. I like the cover too. Looks like it's sort of molecules and a weird creature behind them. It's odd, dude. The Palmer Supremacy. And that they have casual vacancy implanted with the slip. Hmm. When your memory lies, how do you trial the truth? Implanted. I guess mind is breaking up. The world is not what you remember. When either music experience flashes of distorted and bewildered memories. Oh, can he handle the truth of what's really going on? All that all that sci-fi weirdness right there, baby. Hmm, it looks okay though. Hmm. They've got Keen, which I believe we saw at one of the sales previously. It does look interesting, Keen, Keen though. Nice interesting emotional drama. Hmm. I also have Street with Quincy Brown. It's all really get ready to fight. Rocky meets Bloodsport. Okay. Two interesting mashups. Remo Street is a young that's a great name, Remo Street. The young better who comes from a world where nothing is easy when he gets face. I gotta admit, man. I love Rocky more than I love Bloodsport, but I do appreciate Bloodsport quite a bit, man. It's one of Van Damme's best. And to sort of combine the two, would it be interesting? I don't know. It kind of looks like sort of a B-movie fighter type of movie. Hmm. They got... Here. Astro. Be careful what you search for. Astro, that's an interesting cover, dude. I really like that cover quite a bit, man. Hmm. Very sci-fi. Eccentric billionaire Alexander Biggs and his private spacecraft returns to Earth with an abducted extraterrestrial? Oh, soon after the, they return to the secret underground facility, the just hired by Biggs. He's a former special forces soldier. Well, what Biggs doesn't know is the Jack's heavy daughter. That's, I kind of like that. That synopsis that's an interesting synopsis man what well, kind of like looks like like a sort of an emo version of spock look at that hmm i don't know i don't know kind of actually has some interesting vibes to it i like a good sci-fi movie dude this kind of might scratch that itch huh astro also have misfortune Digging up the past comes with a price. Huh. Like that boy. A tightly wound crime thriller. A boy is a young man haunted by the sins of his deceased father years, boys. Hiding a bag of diamonds out in the desert. 
all the diamonds are hidden and trying to grab grab the diamonds and people are after them. Kind kind of reminds me of that that movie that Leonardo DiCaprio did. I think it was Blood Diamond or something like that. Kind kind of reminds me of that man. It looks kind of interesting. Also have not more Quantum Voyage, Widow's Might, The Inheritance for British Cinema Collection. Interesting. The Bear Family and me, BBC Earth. Interesting sort of documentary on a bear family. All right. Uh, that. Season 2 of Dirk Gently. More Her. Atomica. Natural Selection, which again seems really interesting to me. I got that. Ah, more Bill. Let's see what else. 100 items. Or ten items or less. That. La French, the connection. We did see that in a previous sale. Yoga. High intensity. Pass. Ah, more special. They do have that. Knights with Theodore. Hmm. Interesting. That's the theater, the theater, one of the Canadian releases. You always get those Canadian titles. My, the Biggest Loser, exercise routines adopted from NBC's hit hit show. What a what a jip this whole thing thing is, man. Because honestly, you know, if if you believe that this workout will get you completely thin and looking like these people, then you are kidding yourself, dude. Honestly. These these people are scamming you, big time, man. Honestly, they really are, dude. I mean, it's only a dollar, so take it for what it is. But honestly, yeah, these 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 people are complete utter scam artists. Um, the God inside my ear, Cabinets, which we have seen before at the previous sale, which did actually look kind kind of cool. Actually, did have that. More romance. I got a lot of yoga here. Jesus. American wrestler. Seen before. Moscow, Belgium. An uncommon comedy. Hmm. Another Canadian release. Interesting. Oh, sort of like a, a romantic sort of, sort of movie. Al al almost like... Like more of a poor man sleepless in Seattle, I would say something like like that. Moscow, Belgium. Eh, it looks interesting. Um, Boyne Falls. Oh, little Tom and Jerry action, musical mayhem. Uh, Top Gear A to Z. You have that. The Lone Ranger. Hmm. Intensity, Boyne Falls, The Stream, more John Wayne, ah, The Dragons of Camelot, <laughs> look at this crap fest, yeah, that, more Moon Trap, learning to drive, Breaking a Monster, The <laughs> Story of Unlocking the Truth, is a band that rocks beyond its years, hmm, most brutal sixth grade metal band ever. Sixth grade metal band. Okay, that that kind of piques my interest. By New Orleans Music, three grade schoolers from Brooklyn spend the weekends playing heavy metal speed punk. Whoa. That is really interesting, man. I'm not going to lie. That kind of really piques my interest in a big bad way. Like, these, these kids are listening to speed metal and and wanting to play it and become popular that's that's actually kind of cool man i that would be something i would definitely check out man hmm. they got um heavenly sword they've got graduation hmm the future is theirs if they don't get caught on the eve of graduation anything can happen hmm Kind of interesting.
Hmm. They got a griddle house. They've got lost wilderness. Real live. The Musketeers. A Buck Howard. Lost City. Wild West. London Spy. Ah, another another nerd land, man. Kind of kind of cool. Cool. We're seeing some weird stuff. Stuff like that. My boy Jack. Which again, man, Daniel Radcliffe, dude. Talk talk about an actor who's done some really unique stuff, man. He he's an actor that I I always kind of actively want to watch his movies now because he's he's not he, he's not sort of the typical normal sort of superstar actor guy he does some really quirky and and diverse roles dude give give the man a lot a lot of credit credit dude a lot of people i think a lot of people probably thought after sort of harry potter he he was probably either going to be a forgotten or probably do like these sort of superficial projects but he's been anything but that man really fascinating actor dude oh let's see that that cruise ship more entourage American Wrestler. No, oh, Lucy Show. Not bad. They do have that. Lucy Show, they have... Down that came of Corton. They got that. Uh, that there. Susie's Hope. The Inheritance and... Whoa! Another weird one we found. Kind of surprised this is here. Dylan Dog, Dead of Night. Holy crap, guys. I can't believe we're seeing Dylan Dog here, man. On Blu-ray at that, dude. That is crazy, dude. Wow, man. You know, not gonna lie, I watched this in the movie theaters with Bob, and we were actually we were actually wanting to go see something else at this sort of indie theater, and and Bob was like, uh, you know, let's let's go see Dylan Dog, and I was like, oh, okay. And we left the theater, and I was so pissed at Bob, dude. I was like, dude, you made us miss this great sort of indie thing in order to see Dylan Dog, and what a piece of Dylan crap it was, dude. Oh man, I, honestly, it's been really long since I've watched it, so I'm kind of actually wanting to recheck it out. But I remember this film disappointed so many people, dude. Like, it was like a hyped movie. Like, people were like, oh, my God, dude, Dylan Dog, they're making a movie about it. Dude, it's got the guy from Superman. Like, oh, this is going to be, it's going to be lit. And it was anything but, dude. It, it, it basically disappointed so much, dude. It basically took a giant shit on, on everyone's love for Dylan Dog, dude. It really did, man. Uh, I, was, I was so pissed after seeing this movie, man. And I've just kind of wondered when I would ever see it again. Because when I went to, like, thrift stores and other pawn shops, I've never really seen Dylan Dog before, man. And I'm always like, when am I ever going to get around to seeing this piece of shit in a store again? And, well, I finally have come across it. Dude, I might have to pick this up just to rewatch it, dude, because it's been so long. Maybe, maybe my anger wasn't warranted. Maybe I was overreacting. Part of me says no, but I was, uh, dude, it kind of piques my interest to actually re revisit this thing. And I do like Brandon Routh, man. I, I kind of feel like Brandon Routh got shit on quite a bit, dude. I thought he was a good Superman, and he didn't really get a lot of great pr projects to feature him. And I, I kind of feel bad, dude, but he's, ah, oh, dude, I'm, I may have to give this a chance, man. I really don't want to because I feel like I'm going to be really disappointed again and I'm going to feel like my dollar is wasted, but I I probably am going to have to pick it up, guys. I probably will, dude. I'm really shocked to see this here, man. Like, I was never expecting to see Dylan Dog Dead of Night at the Dollar Tree. I don't know why. I just thought I would see it somewhere else, but definitely not here, especially not on Blu-ray and a brand new copy of that. Wow. <laughs> All right, that is really interesting. That's that's definitely the the find at this one for sure, man. And Len, like I said, a lot of this got really picked over in a big bad way. I mean, yes, I picked over a lot a lot of it, man. But I mean, some of it there is some really cool t titles here, especially if you sort of search for it. A lot of cool indie stuff as well. A lot of the same similar stuff, but every now and again, something like a gem, like Prince Avalanche or Dylan Dog. It's something, especially on Blu-ray. 
All right. Interesting variety for sure, man. All right. Definitely picked over, but still worth it. Let's head out. So I was actually talking to the manager at this Dollar Tree that told me that they actually put their titles out sooner than today because today was actually the first day that the Dollar Trees were supposed to put out these movies but from what I gather a lot of them have put them out a little bit early which I understand if you have the stock out you want to sell it why not put it out but for some of us who are just getting here sometimes we sort of miss out on some of the stuff so yeah this one proves that it has definitely been picked over in a big bad way a lot of the same similar titles but some really unique and interesting stuff and what I'm finding is that Dollar Tree has a lot of really unique and interesting sort of B-movies and indie titles, uh, Canadian releases, and the occasional sort of big budget movie release that has sort of sort of died down and they can sort of pick it up and put it in, in their stores. That's sort of what I'm gathering right now. Things like Dylan Dog I definitely wasn't expecting, man, and that is one title that... I'm going to regret revisiting, but I just might have to do it, guys. But some interesting selection overall, and it definitely seems like when you're at the Dollar Tree, it is definitely indies and B-movies galore. Very interesting stuff for sure, man. Let's head to the third location and see what the final Dollar Tree of the video will have to offer us. All right, everybody. We have reached our third and final Dollar Tree location. Oh yeah, so we are now back at this wonderful Dollar Tree, the biggest Dollar Tree location in my area. And we've seen some really great titles so far, some really cool indie titles, some weird B-movies, some interesting surprises, and hopefully we'll find some even more interesting gems and some unique stuff to check out. Let's go in, see what they got. All right, everybody, we are in at the Dollar Tree location, and oh my God, did we hit the mother load, guys. I told you, this is the best Dollar Tree out of all of them, man. Oh, Lord, we've got a ton of DVDs, some Blu-rays. Let's get into it, guys, because there's a lot to show off here, man. And the first thing I'm seeing over here is they have... Dead Man's Gun, best of season one with Chris Christopherson. I think we saw this before, man. I think we did during the last sale. Interesting. This set in the mythic Old West premiered in 1997. God, I don't, I didn't remember this back in 1997, man. But then again, maybe I just wasn't really into this type of stuff at the time so it just sort of passed me by but it looks really interesting and narrated by Chris Christopherson Chris Christopherson is fantastic dude this looks really cool man I really don't know anything about about this show if you guys do definitely let me know it's a really cool box of box set man they've got that they've also have a martial arts collection featuring Brandon Lee for with 13 movies by the way rest in peace brandon lee because damn man he died way too soon man really way too soon such a tragedy what happened on the crow and i love that movie so much but the tragedy that that happened with that such a damn shame man it's a lot of movies here man a lot of stuff huh Interesting. If you're a martial arts fan, you gotta definitely get up on this. I mean, I mean, I'm the occasional martial arts fan, but I have a lot of respect for Brandon Lee, man. But for 13 movies for only a dollar, that's a really great price, dude. Huh? That is really cool, man. Yeah, not 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 bad for that. Uh, we also got here Bus Driver with Robert Forster, Tom Williamson. Never judge a man by his day job. Damn right, look at that. That is Jesus. I didn't know the bus drivers were so badass. Holy shit. Well, that's really cool, man. Yo, look at that little flaming bus in the background there. Man, that guy ain't taking no fucking prisoners. Holy shit. 
His job was to drive them. His mission is to save them. That's great. A high school bus driver blows a tire and stops at the nearest ranch for help. Every five people in their chat room come face to face with criminals who will do anything to finish their drug operations. The, the, you know, all of these people always get in the way of, with drug people. You ever notice that? Man, drugs are the root of all evil. For sure. Don't mess with the bus driver. Oh, that is cool, dude. I have never heard of this title, man. But Robert Forster, dude. That's interesting, man. Don't fuck with bus drivers. I mean, they have to deal with screaming kids. You know, they, you know, if, if you can handle screaming kids and you can handle drug cri- uh, criminals, dude, don't fuck with them. I'm telling you. That's really cool, dude. And then they've got... Oh, boy. The Twilight Saga, Breaking Dawn, Part 2. Boy. Oh, man, you have to deal with the the god-awful puke fest of a romance then you have to deal with the really creepy baby which by the way that baby is all kinds of creepy dude honestly really is the cgi face on that that creeped me the fuck out dude you know there's a few movies in the twilight saga that i actually do like crazy enough but this this ain't one of them dude part part two is really bad man but if you like twilight it does come with a slip man hmm. they also have the Blu-ray DVD digital of her with the slip, by the way. That's nice. It does come with with with, with the slip cover, and it's in great condition, dude. And for only a dollar, that's a great price, man. Like I said, I love this movie. This movie's great. Not only is Joaquin Phoenix great, but Scarlett Johansson is really great in it as the voice of the phone. I, I think this is such a really great movie. And it's one of those movies that honestly, to me, feels like it's something that can happen in real life, which is really... S- scary being so alone that you fall in love with with your your phone and not an actual human being it's it, it's kind of terror terrifying dude but it's it's a really powerful movie dude you guys got to check that out and for with the slip a dollar that's a great price man uh then we got le vandor the salesman hmm, interesting never heard of this this one on blue right here uh Uh, car salesman of evil retirement. Hmm. Well, it looks like an interesting movie. Ah, I'm Blu ray. I also have. Ah, oh, Dark Shadows. The Johnny Depp flicked. Interesting. Now, you know what, guys? Honestly. You know, I saw this movie in the theater, and I have to admit, dude, that. See, I never really watched the Dark Shadows TV show because it wasn't really something I was honestly interested in. The trailers never did anything to me, and after I watched the movie, it had it had a cool sort of maybe gothic tone that could have been really cool, dark and gothic and creepy, and they ended up going for more sort of weird comedy and and sort of goofball stuff which really i don't think worked i i I didn't really think it worked for dark shadows johnny depp's a good actor i like him a lot but i don't think this role really suited him and i like tim burton and i like their team ups but this just this one didn't really work man i think the cast is great michelle pfeiffer and him and 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 some a lot of really great actors involved in this thing but yeah, I thought this was more of a misfire than anything else. It it had some interesting elements to it, but it didn't really work. Dude, this is one of the lesser Tim Burton movies, in my opinion. I mean, it's cool that it's here on Blu-ray for a dollar, but... Yeah, I wasn't really feeling this one, though, though guys. I really wasn't. Hmm. Uh, they also have... Ah, they have another Nerdland here, the Unrated. Very cool, cool guys. Hmm, very cool on that one. They also have... The 5,000 Fingers of Dr. T, which still looks really weird, man. That still looks so oddball. Kind of cool that it, it, it's on on Blu-ray here at the Dollar Trees. I mean, if you're a fan of Dr. Seuss and haven't checked this one out, probably give it a whirl, dude. Like, this this definitely ain't green eggs and ham, put it that way. Hmm. They also have... Oh, Mirror Mirror with Julia Roberts. Oh, that's interesting. On Blu-ray here for a dollar. That's really cool. I ended up seeing this in the movie theater with Bob, 
we ended up going to to see this one when it came out and we were really disappointed in this one this this was kind of kind of the year where this came out and uh i believe snow white and the huntsman came out as as well and i remember that they were they were both sort of competing for the the audience and you know for me i like snow white and the huntsman more this one see it kind of felt a little too poppy and superficial to me a little bit i like certain things in here i like julia roberts playing sort of the wicked witch and sort of sort of playing this sort of evil queen type of character i like some of some of the dwarves you know army hammer is is, is really interesting in here i like him as the prince it's got some good elements to it. I just wasn't really feeling this movie so much as I was Snow White and the Huntsman. I like the grittier take on that than I did this one. This one went for more colorful, more sort of lively. The other one went for a little bit more darker, and I appreciated that a little bit more, but it's not a bad one to check out, though. I just was slightly disappointed pointed with, it, with it, though, man. But really interesting. It's got it here for a dollar on Blu-ray. Uh, then... 300 rise of an empire 3d which is very cool as well checking out another 3d D release here at the dollar tree very cool so they definitely have that not not bad at all on that one they also have jack and the cuckoo clock heart hmm i have never heard of that one at all that's interesting huh is that you find the closer Oh, well, that looks interesting. Hmm. Huh, I never heard, heard of this one. Kind, kind of looks cool. Probably a good one for kids. That's interesting. Uh, they also have Ninja Assassin, which we've seen before. They have... Mario the Penguins. Oh, that's really cool. I love this movie. This is a really great sort of documentary really great morgan freeman does a great job narrating this mo movie he does a great job here and it just it just makes you fall in love with with penguins like this movie and happy feet are sort of the two movies that makes you love Peng penguins so much this is really cool that they have this for uh, for a dollar here man this is not a bad title man definitely get get up on this really great documentary about penguins man uh, they also have here, ooh, another 3D release, Jack the Giant Slayer 3, 3D. I can't say that I fully love this movie because there's a lot of issues that I have <laughs> with it. But it's got some cool adventure elements in it, and you know how, how much I love Ewan McGregor, man, and he's really great in, in this movie playing, playing one of the soldiers. It's not a bad, it's not a bad Brian Singer movie. It's not bad at, at all. I just, it didn't quite live up to my expectations. It kind of takes the, the Jack and the Beanstalk idea and makes it more into sort of this sort of like, like adventure movie, which is really cool though. Hmm, not bad, man. We got another 3D release. Uh, they also have... Slight, which I believe we've seen before at, at some of the sales previously. And the producer of Get Out. This is his magical powers and everything. Hmm, interesting. Got Slight there. They also have some more Nerdland. Clint Eastwood's Hang 'em High with with alternate artwork. Nice. I like he's he, he's just he's just kind of walking into town with with some guy hung up. <laughs> nice. That was great. They hung him once. Now he's out for revenge. See, I, I love Clint, man, and, and Clint is such a badass dude. And and I think some of the best westerns were the ones that he did. He is so great in, in this stuff, man. I mean, people like John Wayne and all those people sort of paved the way for Eastwood, but I think Eastwood really perfected it in a big, bad way. I think he really did, did, man. This is really cool, dude. That's really, really cool that they have this on Blu-ray here, here at the Dollar Tree. Hang them high. It's really nice, dude, especially if you're, if you're a fan of Eastwood. Uh, they also have over here 
Oh, Take Me Home Tonight, the Blu-ray, nice. I actually saw this in the movie theater with, with Bob, and we had a ball with this movie, dude. He, we, we still quote this movie to this day. We have a, a lot of fun with this movie. The whole, like, we stole a car. Like that, we, we have a great, great fun time with this mo- movie, dude. It's great. It's one of the movies I love, Topher Grayson. I think Anna Ferris is actually really funny here. And usually she's just sort of the comedic punching bag in a lot of ways. And here she kind of is in a way, but I, I, I liked her story here. I thought this was really cool. Teresa Palmer I thought is really fantastic here. I thought... Dan Fogler is funny as hell. This is a really good nostalgic 80s movie, dude. It sort of takes the, your, your love of the uh, the 80s and just ramps it up to like 11, dude. I I really love this one quite a bit, man. Really cool they have this on Blu-ray, man. It's not bad. Hmm. They also have over here... Oh, Dream House. Oh, wow. I can believe they have Dream House here. That's interesting. I remember when this came out and I can't say I'm a huge fan of the movie I like it I like Daniel Craig and and the cast here it's good it's creepy it's got its moments but uh, I wasn't really impressed with this one though man I I really wasn't hmm could have been better though interesting cover though I think this is another one of those Canadian releases Interesting cover. Dad, definitely different than the U.S. version. Hmm. I would say still check it out if you like sort of creepy ha- ha- houses and, you know, those type of horror flicks. But mm, didn't quite do it for me as I wanted to. They also have over here, they have uh, oh, the Puerto Ricans in Paris. With Luis Guzman and Edgar Garcia. That's interesting. No rules. Mm, Blu-ray digital HD. Never heard of this one. Luis Guzman. <laughs> uh, you know what, Luis Guzman, dude. Honestly, not gonna lie. I, I'm sort of, I'm sort of half and half on Luis Guzman. I think Lu, Luis Guzman is a good actor. I think he's a funny guy. I think he's more of like sort of the background dude. Like, he's the guy that you put into the background as a supporting dude to be funny. Not really the lead guy. He is still pr- pretty funny, though, and he's hilarious at, at times. I remember him in, like, something, a movie like Anger Management or something. He was really funny there. But it could be fun. I Rosario Dawson. Yeah, Rosario Dawson, Rosie Perez. Hmm. FLO fish out, out of water comedy. Interesting. Hmm. Puerto Ricans in Paris. Oh, that's interesting. Then I'm also seeing over here they have. Oh, they do have the combo Blu ray DVD of Atomica. So we have seen the DVD and now also the Blu ray. Nice. For a dollar, some, some Tom Sizemore sci fi B movie Blu ray goodness. Not bad. Tomica, cool. Some some interesting blue Blu-rays in in, in here, man. Some some re- some really cool cool finds so far, guys. Now onto the DVD goodness over here, which is very very plentiful indeed, guys. I'm um, seeing over here they have, uh, of course they have a very veggie Easter for all you vegetarians out there. They have this. They have. Griddle House. They have Chosen. Slip. Actually, I just want to say um, Robert Davi. I really like Robert Davi from back in the day, the old school films and when he was on Stargate Atlantis. I was a huge fan of his on, on Stargate Atlantis. I thought he did a really good job as the villain, man. I thought he was a real, real, really cool bad guy, man. They also have... Treasure State, which we've seen before. I also have Dog Napped. Superhero Dog Rescue. That is interesting. Okay. Mission Impossible. 
<laughs> okay, look at, look at interesting here. When the neighborhood's beloved dogs are stolen by a comic book inspired villain with an evil plan. Okay, that's interesting. Sort of kitty B movie adventure fun. Maybe in the vein of of Lassie or maybe you know, more like Lassie's cousin. Very interesting. Tog napped. Okay. He's on the case. Interesting. So if you guys ever actually have any issues with dog kid kidnappings, call him. He'll easily solve it. Solve it. Nothing's impossible for this dog. Get it? Mm. They also have... Ooh, Sins with Danny Glover, Michael Madsen, and John Savage. Interesting. They look like badass motherfuckers ready for the retirement home. Nice, and oh lord. Look at Danny Glover being all badass with, with with his huge gun, dude. I don't know if I could take him seriously with his huge weapon. I would be, I would fear that he like shoot himself, dude. Like in the kneecap or something. I'd be like, dude, can you even handle that big gun? Can, can, can you even pick that fucker up? Yeah, I, I'd be afraid he'd have a heart attack or something. Shit. After losing his memory and sighting a blade gun, he was a monster, dude. I mean, it's a cool synopsis. It looks cool. Not going to lie, dude. But Danny Glover is really over the hill, dude. I'm not going to lie. He is really beyond all over the hill. Like, I heard they were actually going to do a Lethal Weapon 5. And I'm kind of like, they are really too old for this shit. Like, they are really beyond too old for this shit. I mean, I remember seeing Danny Glover in the Jumanji movie and thinking to myself, like, wait a minute. Like, this dude can barely get around. Shit, man. Like, like he's going to do an action movie? Like, how is this going to work? I don't know, dude. Like, I'm kind of curious to see it, but at the same time, I'm, I'm kind of like, dude... I love my man Dan, Danny Glover, but he's got he's to gotta slow down, man. I don't want the dude having a heart attack. We've lost a lot of people in, in 2019 and now 2020 already. I don't want to lose Dan, Danny Glover, just saying. Interesting. They got... And interesting. Okay. They have that. They have... Best Man Down, which we've seen that before. They have, ooh, the complete ninth and final season of One Tree Hill. I never saw a single episode of One Tree Hill. I'm not gonna lie, I never did, man. Th this show never really interested me. When I was growing up, it, it, it wasn't really a show I was really like attracted to. I was more attracted to the mystery, sci-fi, horror stuff than the whole like, Teen drama romance stuff. It never really hit hit me, dude. I mean, it's really cool that they have the ninth se season here on on DVD, man. It's really cool that they have it for a dollar. That's not bad, especially if you're a One Tree Hill fan. But I mean, I never got into it, man. I never did. Uh, they also have let's see here of graduation, which we've seen before. They have. Heroes, Hero of the Year, Superhero Girls. We've seen that before. The Stream. We saw that before as well. Basmati Blues, which for all you Brie Larson lovers out there, and I know there's a lot of you, that's sarcasm. <laughs> yeah, they do have this. Um, they also have Advertising Rules, which I know we saw during the last sale, I believe, which looked kind of interesting to, to, to me. It does look, look interesting. They had that. They also have... Oh, this, the Canadian re release there of Resultants. Or Results. Interesting. They have that. They also have... They have the great fight, 
with Robert Loja. I believe we've seen this one before, if I'm not mistaken. We did see see this pre previously, and a, di a different style. It looks kind of cool, sort of an interesting sort of street fight fighting movie. Not bad. Hmm, eh, interesting. They do have that. They have. Oh, interesting. They have more high intensity city workout training. I think I'll stick stick to just watching movies. They have Atletico San Pancho, which we have seen before, and this thing looks I've, this thing looked weird the previous time we saw it. Soccer kids, a weird sort of pet cow, like a like a soccer playing cow or something. It looks so freaking bizarre, dude. Really weird. These these overseas seas ones. Some sometimes they're really weird, dude. Atletico San Pancho. All right. They also have Necessary Evil Super Villains of DC Comics. Nice. Look at this. That's really cool, man. Huh. Experience the icons that forged fear. The Joker, Lex Luthor, Catwoman, Doomsday, Bane. Huh. I wonder what you guys would consider the ultimate Batman or sort of DC Comics villain. I would say probably the Joker is probably the number one. After that, I think it's a toss up. I think you go with somebody like a Lex Luthor. I think maybe you might put Catwoman in there. I, I would probably put Doomsday on the list. There's, there's, there's so many, dude. It's hard to sort of pick like your top five because they're really so good. Kind of, kind of an interesting question to ask you guys. De definitely let me know what you guys think of that. Hmm, pretty cool one. Also have over here. Ooh, what's new Scooby Doo TV episodes? Monster Matinee. Nice for all you Scooby Doo lovers out there. I know they're actually doing that new Scooby Doo movie that looks really cool. And sort of before that comes out, definitely kind of like bone up on your your Scooby Doo. Scooby Doo is so great, man. I kind of grew, grew, grew up with it in my childhood, so I kind of have a little soft spot for it, but. I love the old school stuff, man. They have Noah's Ark, Greatest Adventure, the the Smurfs. Always, always good to have some Smurfs fun right there. Uh, let's see, Garfield. All right. I used to love the the a animated Garfield show, but I have to admit, man, those like Garfield movies were real dog shit, man. They were well, or in this case, cat shit. They they were they were really just bad, dude. And I don't think they really service Garfield in a, the best way possible. So I'm hoping people like get into Garfield, but not the movies because they're really not good, man. Hmm. Then they have Ice Age Giants, another sort of Ice Age thing, an epic frozen adventure. But this is another BBC Earth one that sort of that sort of is aping off of the, the Ice Age thing again. Hmm. Interesting. They do have that. They have the Revenge of Robert. Now, I actually did pick this up during the last sale, and I did get a chance to watch it. I thought it was actually really cool. Actually, I, I really liked sort of the killer doll of Robert. I, I I liked it. I thought it was actually a cool sort of haunted killer doll film. It's not the best killer doll stuff. I mean, I, I look at sort of movie like like Dolls and the Chucky franchise and uh, Dolly Dearest and stuff like that. And I think though those are really cool films, man. This I don't know if this equals that exactly, but it's 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 not a bad sort of killer doll B movie. I kind of enjoyed it actually. I, I thought it was fun. I definitely gotta check out the the, the other ones though. I'm gonna do that. I also have. Justice League Doom, animated original movie. Now, a lot of you guys have come out and talked about in the comment section and a lot of the Dollar, Dollar Tree stuff how some of these Justice League movies or, or these DC animated ones are really cool, man. And, again, I got to ask you, how, how is this one, man? Because, like, like I said, my, my friend John loves these sort of these animated DC ones. He thinks DC is the best at doing the a animated stuff. And, honestly, I can't quite disagree with him because the stuff I've watched has been really cool, dude. They take some cool ideas from the comics and spin them into animated form. And it's been really cool to watch some of the stuff, man. It's looked kind of interesting. And it's the two-disc special edition, too. Hmm, not bad. They do have 
They have also a big top Scooby Doo original movie. Not nice. Not bad with the slip. Very cool. This is the scariest show on earth with Scooby Doo. Clowns, acrobats, werewolves. Nice. Oh, looks really cool, man. Hmm. Get into that. They also have. Oh, the vampire's assistant, Cirque de Freak. Nice. I actually never got a chance to watch this one. I actually heard it wasn't really terrible. I, I think it's based on a series of books, if I'm not mistaken. It's based on a whole series of, of, of books, and I this was supposed to be sort of a multi-part movie series, and the, the film didn't do so well at the box office, so they sort of cut the legs out from under it to make, to, to make a series of films, but... I heard it wasn't bad, though, actually. I heard it's really good. Hmm. Definitely let me know what you guys think of this one. I like a good vampire tale, though. Hmm. Oh, and another Blu-ray here of Mike and Dave Need Wedding Dates. Again, I'm, I'm not a huge fan of, of of Adam Devine. He doesn't really do much for me. Abra, Abra Plaza is really cool. I like some of the stuff she's done, depending on the role. Zac Efron's okay. It's, it's not something I'm really interested in chat checking out, though. Interesting they have it on Blu-ray, though. A bunch of Curious George ones. Curious George sails with the pirates. Curious George egg hunting. Is George fun with friends? George spooky fun. All very interesting Curious George titles for you Curious George lo lovers out there. Chime out. What else they got here? They got the Bear Family and Me. We saw this previously as as well. And this one has a slip. Not bad. They do have that. I'm up there. Bi Bible Mysteries. Bill, which we've seen before. Queen and Country. They do have the Queen and Country here as well. They do have that. And they have BBC of the Intruders. From the writer and executive producer of the X-Files. That, that looks really cool. What goes around comes around. I like that. That looks really nice, man. Hmm. An eerie paranormal thriller with Mira Sorvino. God. God, I miss Mira Sorvino. I think I've said that before, but, you know, things like like Mimic and all those really great stuff from back in the day, dude. She was awesome, man. She, I know she still does a lot of movies, but nothing really high, high profile, dude. But Intruders does kind of look cool, man. At least the cover does. Hmm. Story Planet. More Ice Age. Some interesting selections so far, guys. On to the next section of DVDs, guys. And there's quite a lot to show off, man. The first thing I'm seeing over here, they got Discover Planet Ocean. Yeah, another one of those Discover titles. They do have that. Widow's Might. Ooh, Implanted with the slip. Very nice on that one. Remember that. No dessert, Dad, till you mow the lawn. What is this? With Robert Hayes. Clean, clean your room, walk the dog, take out the trash. A lesson in raising parents. <laughs> this is like one of those ones that you would see from back in the, in the day. Like, almost like a weird sort of, like, sort of leave it to beaver type of thing. Look at, look at this. What in the hell? The Cochran kids want parents, not the workaholic, chain-smoking, absentee wimps that brought them into the world. So when their mom, Joanna Kearns from Growing Pains, and Robert Hayes, yeah, yeah, from Airplane, by itself, if not for the to try to kick the smoking hand, the kids see an opportunity. Oh, so they hypnotize their parents? What the hell is this, man? This is some weird stuff. This is some really weird shit, man. I've never heard of this one, dude. Robert Hayes isn't exactly known for this movie. He's more known for Airplane than anything else, but... Yeah, something weird from, like, the 80s or 90s, dude. Some weird 
some weird movie relic that 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 ended up getting dust dusted off here at the Dollar Tree. Dude, I don't know anything about this. If you guys do, let, let me know. This looks so weird to me. Wow, something I'd probably watch as a kid from back in the day. No dessert, Dad, till you mow the lawn. And Richard Mall is in this? From Night Court? Like Night Court, Mr. Mall? Whoa. This is all kind kinds of weirdness, dude. Hmm, let me know about that one. Uh, then they've got You Can't Have It with Rob Gronkowski, the guy from the New England Patriots, and Armand Asante. I did not know that Rob Gronkowski got into the movies. Drinks, sex, murder, all before last call. Very interesting. Is, is he actually playing a cop? Yeah, like I can really buy Rob Gronkowski as a cop. Okay. Oh, jeez. Never mix business with pleasure. I'm gonna love that. Oh my god, dude. What the hell is this, dude? They actually let Rob, Rob Gronkowski actually, like, make a movie and star in it. I mean, no offense to all you New England Patriots fans, but... Most of these NFL or baseball or or NBA guys, most of them can't act to to save their lives. They can't act out of a wet paper blanket. They cannot at all, dude. And and you're asking this guy to be the lead and, and especially be convincing as a cop. Get the fuck out of here, man. Jesus Christ. Natural selection. They got that. They got real live. They got. Interesting. Okay. They got... Paz Vega and Cat Run. Run, fight, survive. Christopher McDonald is in this as well. Look at that. That's cool. She's badass with her machine gun and her, her stilettos. Cat Run. That's interesting. Fun and sexy non-stop thrill ride. Hilarious, gritty, and fully loaded with intense action. Can't run stars as a high-end call girl on the run for her life with key evidence of scandalous government cover-up. So she's she, she she's running from the government for her life and trying to survive. That's interesting. Cat run. I've never heard of cat run, dude. I like Paz Vega though. She's kind of cool. Hmm. Cat run. That's that's really interesting to me. You have Tom Sawyer. Oh, may make it three for three, baby, on Jutopia. Yeah, baby, three for three on Jutopia, dude. Ha ha. Yeah. Nice, very nice. They got that. Rooster Doodle Do. Okay. They've got. The Slider, which we did see b before, not bad. They have Street, does look interesting. They have Hush Money, hmm, interesting. The fear of losing everything has its consequences. Hmm, never heard of this one before, Hush Money. Top notch grand thriller. An art teacher's plans fall apart when he kidnaps a ball player's daughter to repay a debt with it. Really? That, well, that's really interesting. I don't know how this is going to turn out God, for the guy, but, pr but pretty much I think he's fucked. <laughs> Good lord, dude. Do you think you're going to do, do you think you're going to get away with this, dude? Because I don't think you're going to get away with it all. If you get the money, most likely you're going to go to prison and you're going to get fucked and killed in jail. Just saying. Just, just saying, dude. It's not going to turn out well for this dude. Well, looks interesting, though. Hmm. Also have special... Faye Grimm with Parker Posey and Jeff Goldblum. What the hell is this? I've never heard of this one before. Faye Grimm. What's this one about, man? Beautifully offbeat. 
is afraid of her son Ned will turn out like his father Henry has been a fugitive for seven years. It's only a prison sentence. Huh. It's uh, it's like offbeat, quirky, but also about like a espionage political movie too. This is so weird. I've never heard of this one, man. I I, I love Jeff Goldblum, dude. Park Park Pro Poli is pretty cool too, but I've never heard of this. Wow, I might have to check this one out at some point. This is really interesting. Whoa, I've never heard of this one before. Wow. Uh, yeah, definitely let me know what you guys think of Faye Grimm. Hmm. Also have Sins. Real Live. Family of Lies with John Schneider again. Some families love you to death. Interesting. Hmm, I like the cover. After the... After the tragic and mysterious death of their parents, meaning that they're being watched. Huh. An interesting, sort of like an interesting sort of uh, dramatic thriller. Hmm. Family of Lies. And then they have The Palmer Supremacy. Nice. Got that. They've got Widow's Might. Moon Trap with some badass futuristic cover work. Not bad at all. Treasure State, Lost Wilderness, come on, eat the kids, you know you want to, you're hungry, eat them, I won't tell anybody, I swear, <laughs> they have that, they have Boyne Falls, they have DVD of Your Move with Luke Goss, another one with Robert Davi, nice. How far would you go to protect your family? Well, if you're Luke Goss, you'll kill every last motherfucker to do it. <laughs> They're brutal attack in Mexico. Man, don't don't fuck with Mexico, dude. These 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 guys do kidnappings and drugs for for a living, do they? That's their lifestyle, for Christ's sake. But if you're Lou Goss, you're gonna you're gonna kill every last one of those bastards. Interesting. I love Lou Lou Goss, man. I, I remember loving Lou Goss from um from Blade 2, dude. He was he was badass in Blade 2, man. He was really great. Hmm. Have Heavenly Sword Street. Ah, the dragons of Camelot. Oh, look, look at that craptacular dragon. Yeah, baby. <laughs> uh, that, uh, Pastor Shepherd, Danny Dreo, love thy neighbor. With a baseball bat, apparently. What the hell is this? Repent and prepare for salvation. Shepard lives with his elderly drug-addicted mother who now faces bankruptcy after being swindled into giving her life-saving televangelist. Still in the two decades to pursue justice by finding the televangelist who is. Yes. Because we've got to kill every last one of those goddamn televangelist bastards. <laughs> well, if anybody's going to do it, it might as well be Danny Trejo, baby. Oh, my God. I've never heard of this one. He's going after televangelists. Oh, that's so good. Oh, my God, that's so great, guys. <laughs> oh, that just makes me laugh so much. Oh, God. I, I hope he, like, brutally, like, beats them to death or something. Oh, my God, that's funny. Oh, God, so good. Well, they've got the DVD of Atomica. They've got the great Buck Howard. Mm, the Stream. Meet the small potatoes. Oh, that's interesting. One for the one, f one for the kids. Uh, remember, mm, the nanny. Well, that's interesting. Watch the children. I like that cover. Look at that cover, dude. With some sort of weird, sort of demon or monster looking thing and at, at the front of it that looks really interesting man hmm the nanny in the dark 
fantasy, a mystery nanny to put in charge of an inquisitive young girl. Oh, that's interesting. Ooh, that looks really twisted. Almost like a, a twisted, uh, like, fairy tale or something. Something like Pan's Labyrinth or something. That's really interesting, the nanny. Ooh, that kind of looks cool, guys. Hmm, oh, that one looks interesting. Uh, geez, the facts of life? Season 2, oh my god, what a goddamn blast from the past this is. Holy crap, dude. I, I actually used to watch reruns of this years ago. I think on, like, Nick at Night or something, man. Dude, this is some old school stuff, man. Season 2. Whoa. I actually heard a rumor that they were going to do some sort of, like, Facts of Life reunion or something. I heard I heard rumors on that. I don't know if it was ever came true or not, but I did hear a rumor about it. Wow, man, what a blast from the past this, this one is. Woo. I also have... Easy money. They thought they found easy money. They were dead wrong. Easy. Oh, that's great. Obviously, some kind of of thriller with money. Obviously. Hmm. Looks kind of interesting. Maybe maybe a little bit generic too, though. Hmm. Of course, it doesn't beat the other Easy Money movie with Rodney Dangerfield. That is so much better. Definitely not anything like this, more of a com comedy, but definitely check that, that out more than check this one out. Hmm. They also have... Oh, wow, they have the DVD of Collateral Damage with my man Schwarzenegger right here. Oh, get to the chopper. <laughs> okay, my Arnold is terrible, guys. I, I'm not, not going to lie, it's really bad. God, I, it's been so long since I've seen Collateral Damage, dude. It's been so friggin' long. I remember it being okay, though. It wasn't great. It was just an okay sort of Arnold thing, dude. Hmm. Collateral damage, man. I think this was sort of the time when, like, was this was this pre-heart attack or post-heart heart attack? Because I remember, like, end of days was, like, post-heart heart attack where he was getting back into sort of acting again and working. And I think this was post-heart attack where, where he was doing... Some decent action films, but nothing like he was in the past, dude. This was b before the Governor thing, but hmm, interesting. It's not, it's not, it's not a bad Arnold Ar Ar movie. Pretty decent. And actually, this this is actually the the DVD where it has the snapper case to it too. Those old school snapper cases. If you remember those, man, those were really back in the day, dude. Snapper cases sometimes were a pain in the ass. That's interesting. That's an old school DVD. And then also they have Touchy Feely. Hmm. Very interesting. So they have that a as well, guys. And then over in this pile, guys, I'm seeing they have uh, more dog nap goodness. Oh boy, they have that. They have real live the Palmer supremacy. That they have. Remember. Astro with the actual slip cover very nice look at that really nice with the slip even with the slip It looks really cool with like the the artwork dude. That looks really nice But then they've got sins with a, a old badass fucking Danny Glover man. They got that they've got bus driver Just don't fuck with those bus drivers man at that they got moon trap Misfortune. Loose DVD much. Jutopia. Four, three, two, one. Four girls, three days, two cities, one chance. Oh, they must have heard of two girls, one cup. Oh, very interesting. I, I so hope this movie is not like two girls, one cup. Oh, boy. Um, sexy, gripping, and action-packed. Eh, probably one of those really generic sort of action, th like sexual thrillers. Nothing, not uh, nothing really. I would, I would, I would want to watch. Okay, maybe I, I probably would watch Two Girls One One Cup instead of this. Well, well, maybe that was really disturbing though. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, yeah. Ooh, the na the nanny goodness. Quantum Voyage, which is still a pretty cool co cover actually. 
Uh, hush money. 2035, a new breed of apocalyptic horror. The Terminator meets Mad Max. Okay, that kind of piques my interest a little bit. 2035, only the savage survives. Born during a solar eclipse, Jack Slade is gifted with the ability to time travel. Oh, okay. When he travels through the time, through it, he finds himself in a post-apocalyptic wasteland run by evil doctors who have infected the population. Well, if the world is run by evil doctors, then I, then I guess my health insurance plan really, really did, didn't do much good after all. Did, did it? Well, so much for Medicare for all. Hmm. Well, that sounds interesting, though. Co- cover losing it, it again has you know apocalyptic futuristic sort of fighting for humanity against evil vibe it kind of looks cool maybe hmm, interesting tom sawyer little men with greg kinnear alfred molina hmm that's interesting when 13 year old jake's grandfather and family moved from manhattan back well, some interesting sort of come come coming of age heartfelt movie. Interesting. Greg Greg in here does a lot of these sort of more like inspirational style mo- movies. Looks really interesting though. I never heard of it. Little men. Also have the slider. Cat run. Kumba. Another 3D Blu-ray and DVD. Ah, Dove approved, baby. The voices of Lawrence Fishburne, Liam Neeson, and Steve Buscemi. This kind of feels like a another rip-off, man. Half a zebra, a whole lot of adventure. Looks like another one of those animated rip-offs that, that are trying to rip off like Madagascar or something. God, you see a ton of these, dude. All these animated rip-off movies. Man, there's a shitload of them out there. Get to add Kumba to the list. Hmm. I also have Jericho. A simple ride to work just became the journey of a lifetime with George Wallace, Renan Snatcher Lewis, Whip Smart Surrealist Satire. That's interesting. Jericho is a story of best friends from Jericho living in a rural Mississippi in the Jim Crow era. Huh, it looks like a com- comedy that also is sort of is sort of relevant for the time. Hmm, I never heard of this one. Kind of, kind of looks interesting, actually. If you guys know about Jericho, let, let me know. It's kind of cool. Also have those. Susie's Hope. Have that. They have... Return to Paradise with Vince Vaughn and Haitian Joaquin Phoenix. Oh, my God. Dude, I remember this movie. This is so far back, dude. Oh, my God. This is an old school one. Holy shit. That's a young Joaquin Phoenix, man. The young American with little else in common are united in a shared enthusiasm for beer, women, and righteous Haitian. Eventually, Sheriff. Let me head back to New York and Lewis. The space he was the notion of helping save the orangutans. Yeah, I remember this one, man. It's been so long since I've watched it, though. Wow, dude, this was back in the day when sort of Vince Vaughn was doing a lot of those more more dramatic work stuff. Yeah, this is old school, man. And and a younger Anne Hage when she was doing all this stuff, too. Yeah, man, this is a long time back. Wow. I would definitely re- recommend you, you guys watch this, not just for, like, Joaquin Phoenix, who's really good in it, but also, like, like a really dramatic Vince Vaughn. Awesome. Blast from the friggin' pass on that one. Also got... Moving McAllister. The road less traveled is about to get some company. With Mila Kunis, John Heater, and Rutger Hauer. Nice. No, I've never heard of this one either. A fun romantic road trip comedy. Oh, look, look. They brought a pig with them. Hmm. One of the funniest films of 2007. Holy shit. Dude, this thing is like 13 years old. Holy fuck. Uh, 
Well, that's interesting. I like a good road trip con- comedy, man. John, John, he he heater, of course. Bad back in the day was a fun, funny guy. Mila Kunis is always pr- pretty good too. And rest in peace, Rutger Hauer. Kind of looks interesting though, man. Hmm. Interesting, quirky romantic road comedy. I like a good sort of road trip movie. Hmm. Let me know what what, what you guys think of moving McAllister. Hmm. They've got Tappy Toes, which is clearly aping off of Happy Feet. Another uh, another an- animated rip- ripoff. Probably not nearly as good. But I guess if you like peng- penguins, why the hell not, right? Hmm. Tappy Toes. And they've also got Good Neighbors with Jay Burchell, Scott Speedman. Boy, this must be an old school one too. Wow. You never know who's living right next door. Well, <laughs> well, ain't that the truth? Huh, this looks really I- interesting indeed. A wickedly funny noir. God, back in the day, dude. Wow. Two neighbors living through the winter of 1995 in Montreal, the arrival of Victor in their apartment complex one side of the of a series of murders terrifying their community. Huh. I've never heard, heard of this one, dude, but it kind of looks really interesting. And Scott Speedman is another one you don't really hear about anymore, which is a real shame, dude. He, he, huh. This looks really interesting. If you guys know anything about it, let me know. Good neighbor neighbors. Uh, let's see. They got the best of Superman. The Avengers... On or oh, 14 adventures on two discs. Hmm. This is Superman here. The Man of Steel at his best. Oh, that's interesting. Hmm. Really cool An- animated su- Superman action right here. They've got that. Hmm. We have that right there. They also have season one, volume one of Scooby Doo Mystery Incorporated. Hmm. Some of the more Sco- Scooby Doo action as well. Not bad. They do have that over here. They also have... Hmm, kicks. They aren't just shoes. I think I, I think we saw this during the sale the last time. There's a pair of fresh sneakers that money can buy to help them escape the reality of being poor. Oh, that's interesting. That, that looks really cool. Kicks. Hmm. I, I remember that was really good the last time. Also have... 10 items or less. They do have that, the complete series that they had the last time at the previous sale. Do have that. Hmm, 10 or less. And they do have... Oh, Hacker. Hmm. There is no such thing as easy money. Well, well, that's true. Inspired by true events, Hacker. Alex, an immigrant from Ukraine, comes to Canada and becomes involved with an online criminal organization called Dark Web. And ATMs and uh, I guess the entire banking system. Oh, well, that was cool. Sort of, sort of a a crime, sort of internet thr- th- a thriller. Hacker. I actually really, I actually really like the the cover to this. Inspired by true events. Oh God, if that actually ha- happened in real lot life, we're really screwed. Good Lord, man. Hacker. Hmm. That was pretty cool, and. And, and, and some pretty cool, cool releases so far, guys. Let's keep on rolling with Breaking a Monster on DVD right here. They also have Girls for Life, the original movie, Lego. Interesting, so some Lego goodness there. They've got that John Wayne 2 Disc DVD collection, which is what, man, still a really in- interesting, man. Really young John Wayne. Uh, that they also have Entourage the movie. They have oh, they have that Justice League Throne of Atlantis, and I think we've seen this one before. And some of you guys have commented that this is a pretty good one, actually. Hmm. DC Universe blood is thicker than water. That's interesting. Hmm. Some more DC Universe goodness. I got that. They've also got the BBC Earth documentary of sharks, the greatest, the ocean's greatest predators. Nice. Not bad on that. Sell the hundreds. That looks pretty good on that. That they also have uh, more breaking dawn. God damn it. 
Oh, and also we have the Hunger Games Catching Fire. We see this usually nowadays at the sale all the time, dude. We, we tend to find this a lot, actually. But it, it seems like they, they keep on getting, like, a shitload of these Canadian re re releases of, like, the Hunger Games films for, for some reason. They, they, they probably bought a huge bunch of them in, like, bulk. Ooh, Jeff Stone, Death in Paradise with Tom Selleck. Yeah. Dude, whatever happened to Tom Selleck, dude? I know he does that sort of show. He does that Blue Bloods show or something on CBS or, or something like that. But I, I remember him back in the day when he was doing sort of those, like, like 80s action movies and, and some, some of that comedy stuff, like Three Men and a Baby, which was always really, really cool. And he did a really great action movie from back in the day with, with Kirstie Alley. Which was really cool. This sort of futuristic one, which was which was really cool, dude. Like like I miss Tom Tom Selleck, dude. But honestly, sort of God and truth be told, he probably is one of the people that that in Hollywood has the best stash. Like seriously, his stash is epically good, man. Very interesting. I I've never really watched any of the Jeff Stone movies, so I don't really know how they are. But dude, that's Tom Selleck. Come on, dude. It's Tom Selleck. Also have Scooby Doo and the Circus Monsters, another Scooby Doo movie. Very interesting. Now yeah, we're seeing a lot, a lot of Scooby Doo good goodness here. American Wrestler, we've seen that before. Batman vs. Robin, I think we did see this before too, but definitely saw some more D DC Universe stuff, man. I know, I know that there's a lot of you guys out there that really love the DC Universe stuff, and I'm kind of curious. Do you love sort of? More of the Batman animated stuff, the Superman. Do you like the combined Justice League stuff? I mean, definitely let me me know, guys. I've, I've actually thought the Batman stuff has been really cool, man. Like the Batman vs. Ninja Turtle stuff was really awesome. They, they, they do a good job with Batman overall, dude. I thought they, they do a good job with this. House Party Tonight's the Night? No. They did not make another House Party movie. The best night they'll never remember. Really? They made another house party movie? When the parents are away, a kid's gotta play. And head to college in this sweet new ride. Oh, this is house party five? Jesus Christ, dude, they made five of these goddamn things? Holy shit. Dude, I, I, I really enjoy the first house party, and I enjoy the second house par party. The third, nah, I didn't really care for that. The fourth one, I never saw the fourth one, and count me in for never seeing the, the fifth. Why? Why are we making another house party movie? I mean, I mean, I guess I got to appreciate it that they did a part five, but can't we just reboot this motherfucker now? I mean, uh, I mean, really, like... W does anybody care? Like, I'm just literally shocked now that they made a fifth house part par party movie, and I never knew about it. Maybe I just need to go back to not knowing. Maybe ignorance is some complete bliss. But now that I know it, I'm kind of mildly curious at what the fuck this thing is. Because the, the third one was really bad, dude. And the fourth one I heard was real shit. So the fifth one, oh my god. And then it's got the guys from the original as well in there. And they, 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 those were some cool mofos, kid and play back in the day, dude. But, dude, come on, man. Get off this house party train, dude. Somebody's got to whoop some of these kids' asses, I'm telling you, dude. As I get older, I'm like, just, just take the belt and whip them, dude. <laughs> Good Lord, dude. I don't know, man. Maybe they're trying to, like, do, like, sort of like a hip, like, house type of, like, you know, rave type of, you know, kids chilling out type of movie, but, uh, dude, they're just ruining the House Party franchise. Leave it the fuck alone. Dude, do you guys agree with me? Definitely let me know. I cannot believe they made a fifth one, dude. This is, this is embarrassing, dude. Oh, my God, dude. Really? Jeez. Have my boy Jack. They have Remember... Widow's Might. 
the stream, real live, dog napped, implanted, bus driver, griddle house, some, some of the same stuff here. Stay, natural selection, moon trap, and falls, rooster doodle too. Want um, another Blu-ray of Atomica, the slider Atomica. Oh, they do have Guns, Girls, and Gambling with the slip. Nice, the slip's in really good condition. Look, look at that, really nice, dude, with the slip. We're finding some, some really cool stuff with the slips here. Pastor Shepard, which, dude, that is still great. He's fighting fucking televangelists. Come on, you, like, that's too good to not check out, dude, honestly. That's, that's just, that's just too good. Oh, my God. Dragons of Camelot. They've got slammed. Some rise by sin, some fall by virtue. That's interesting. Hmm. An electrifying arrogant hip hop star is kidnapped and held for ransom by the kind of professional killer no one ever wants to meet. Who the who in the fuck is paying ransom for a for for a hip hop star? I mean I I mean really, who the fuck is paying millions of dollars for a, for this guy, especially if he's a real prick? I mean, come on. Oh, and, the, and there's a conspiracy and they've got a They've got a ticking clock. Oh, give me, give me a break, dude. Cause this movie looks like shit. I uh, well, it's only a dollar, I guess. I mean, come on. Oh, they've got that. They've got uh, explore and discover. Life partners. Immortal Wars. Look at this. Based on the Vanquishers comic book series with Eric Roberts, Tom Sizemore. That's a really cool cover, dude. May the strongest survive. That actually looks I like the cover. Like if you just look at the cover, it looks really cool, dude. Based on the Vanguard series. Jeez, look look at Tom size more on the back there. It looks like he could give a shit. <laughs> it like looked that he he sort of woke up in the morning. He was he was shit faced drunk. And they just said, dude, we need, to, we need to take some pictures for the back cover. cover. And he's kind of like, oh, dude, can somebody get me some coffee? Please, I need help. Oh, man, the booze are still kicking. Like, it's, like he kind of looks like that, dude. He looks really roughed up in that one. Oh, my God. Then the virtual... Oh, sort of... Oh. So, Eric Krabbers plays a sort of television host that... They sort of battle each other. Kind of like almost like a version of like the running man or something. That looks really interesting. It probably is not that good. It's probably cheesy as shit. But it's got that kind of running man vibe. So it kind of looks really cool, dude. Uh, that they've got... Oh, four, three, two, one. Ish. And they... Hello, here they have Batman Dark Justice. The DVD. Oh, that's really, really cool, man. 13 episodes on two discs. So some more DC animated good goodness. We're seeing a lot of really cool DC animated goodness here, especially for all you, all you Batman lovers here. Not bad at all, and not bad selection this time around, guys. Some really great stuff to check out, man. A hell of a lot of DVDs, some really cool Blu-rays. We definitely hit the mother load on this one for, for sure. Yeah, not bad this time around for, for the sale, man. All right. Really cool. You know, I'd actually say that there was some pretty unique releases this time around over at this Dollar Tree. I mean, yes, we saw some of the same stuff, but honestly, guys, I'm not going to lie. I mean, we saw some really unique B-movie titles here, some indie stuff, some Hollywood hits on DVD that I thought we would never see at a Dollar Tree. So, yeah, I thought the variety was really good this time around. And even though we saw more DVD than anything else, we did see quite a few Blu-rays as well. So there is, uh, you know, a decent mixture of both, depending on which Dollar Tree you go to, for sure, man. But this sale is definitely not about the Hollywood hits, per se. It's more about the indie darlings and the odd and weird B-movie, the horror stuff. That's sort of what this sale more is geared towards, too. But really, a lot of interesting titles and a lot of stuff that seems 
worth it to at least give a chance to. And for only one dollar, that's not bad at all, guys. I think it's honestly really worth it, especially when you think of a dollar. And there's certain times when you would see these movies on sale that are for like five or ten dollars. So for only a dollar, it's really worth diving into. So definitely go to your Dollar Trees and check this sale out for sure, guys. I don't think you'll be disappointed. Definitely well worth it. All right, not bad at all. Let's head home and finish the video. All right, everybody. I am back now from the Dollar Tree out and about movie hunting. What, let me tell you, man, some really interesting, unique variety that we saw at the stores. And I'm actually surprised that this sale even was this soon, man, because that's a really quick turnaround for this sale. I'm not going to lie, man. Like, I thought... We were going to get this sale at the end of March, the beginning of April. I, I was thinking that's when we were going to get it. And then I was hearing rumblings on Facebook and some of you guys ended up messaging me about it. And I'm like, wow, man, we just recently had one. And, and it kind of feels like it's getting quicker and quicker, the turnaround of these sales, man. It kind of feels like there's just so much stock in like the Dollar Tree warehouses that they're like, oh, hey, let's let's just do another sale and get it, get it out, man. I mean, you know, truth be told, I love this sale. I love them doing the sale every single time and, and just checking out the media because it's, it's not about the big blockbuster stuff. It's about the more obscure, unknown titles and the stuff that I think maybe people might find that they're trash or that those titles aren't worth it. You know, I found so many titles at these Dollar Tree stores that I always want to give a chance to and I find really unique and fascinating. And for a dollar, you can't really beat it, guys. I mean, to be honest with you, you really can't for a dollar. And the reason why is that a lot of those titles, you could go to some other stores, you know, these other thrift stores or maybe pawn shops or other places, and maybe you'd be paying 5 or $10.00 where here you're paying a dollar and I think you're able to give these movies a chance where other times you might pass on them. You know, some people might call these titles trash, other people will consider them treasures. I think it depends on your point of view, I think it depends on what you guys think of these titles and if you want to give them a chance. Me, I'm willing to give things a chance. I may not always like the movies, but again, for a dollar, I think you risk checking these titles out when in other cases you might not have otherwise. I mean, that's just my opinion. I mean, definitely let me know what you guys think, but I think it's a great sale, definitely worth exploring. Definitely go to your Dollar Trees and check this sale out, man. And I hope you guys picked up something good because there was quite a bit to check out and probably even more variety at other stores in other states. So definitely let me know what you guys have checked on, what kind of variety they have, and what you've definitely picked up. Definitely let me know about that, guys. As far as I'm concerned, well, I think I picked up quite a few titles, guys. So let's get into what I picked up here with the first Dollar Tree store where I ended up picking up the DVD of Better Living Through Chemistry. And I definitely wanted to check this one out. I hadn't really given it a chance and I've heard really good things about it. So I thought, what the hell, man, for a dollar? It's got a great cast, and I'm going to give this one a chance. So I definitely picked this one up, guys. I also picked up the Blu-ray, the unrated Blu-ray, of Nerdland. I just really wanted to check this one out, man. You know, I love Paul Rudd. I love sort of weird, sort of animated movies that have sort of maybe a perverse and odd sensibility to them. And this kind of looks like one of those weird oddity ones. It really does. I'm really curious to check this one out, guys. So I picked up Nerdland for this. So at the first store, I picked up only two titles there. At the second store was a little bit more, guys. And I picked up at the second store, I ended up picking up Quantum Voyage with uh, Malcolm McDowell and Dean Cain. I just really love the cover here. And the synopsis looks really cool, and I'm like, for some maybe some interesting sci-fi, it might not be great sci-fi considering Dean Kane, but I thought, what the hell, I'm going to give it a chance, man. So I 
figured I'd pull the trigger for a dollar, so I definitely got this one. I also ended up picking up Prince Avalanche. I wanted to pick this one up. I've heard really good things about this one. A really cool sort of indie, quirky comedy. As I said, I love Paul Rudd, dude. And anything that he's in, I at least got to give a, a chance to, at least a watch. And so I decided, what the hell, man, I'm definitely going to pick this sucker up. So, yeah, I decided for on Prince Avalanche. And I'm kind of glad I did because I didn't see it at any of the other stores. So glad I got a chance to pick this one up. So that one I got... And I also picked up Dylan Dog. I know, I know, guys, it's probably complete and utter garbage. It's trash, probably. I haven't watched it in literally years uh, since I watched it in the theater with Bob. But I was like, ah, for a dollar, it's Blu-ray. Why the fuck not, you know? So, I mean, if I picked up Yoga Hosers b before, might as well pick up Dylan Dog. Yeah, you know, possibility. So I was like, "What the hell, man? I'll just, I'll just give it another chance." Oh, you know, God, God, hope it's actually somewhat decent, man. Uh, you know, the memory fades over time, but once I start watching this, we'll see if I get the Vietnam flashbacks or not. But yeah, I'm definitely interested to revisit this one, guys. And again, for only a dollar, might as well revisit the sucker. So I picked this one up. So I picked up a little bit more over at the second Dollar Tree location. And then the third Dollar Tree location. Ooh, I went all out on this one, guys. Not gonna lie. I definitely did, man. I picked up, oh, a lot, a lot of titles, man. The first title that I picked up was The Nanny, man. And I wanted to pick this title up. Because it looks really cool. It looks really sort of twisted fairy tale. And I really like those type of horror films, man, where they take sort of a fairy tale sort of fantasy angle to it and twist it into really dark territory. This looks really cool, man. I definitely am willing to check this one out and give this one a chance. I also ended up picking up Pastor Shepard. I had to do it, guys. Honestly, I really want to check this movie out because he's going against evil... Uh, what was the evil, um, evil televangelist. He's going against evil televangelist, and I'm thinking to myself, this is just too good not to at least watch once, man. I mean, I love Danny Trejo, and he's, and he's going against evil, evil, holy, trans, uh, evangelist. I'm like, this is, this is, this is great! Why have I not heard about this movie before? I love this thing. So I was like, I got to pick this up, dude. So I decided to buy, bite the bullet and pick this one up, man. Hopefully it's some really good stuff. Uh, I also picked up Faye Grimm. And I wanted to pick up Faye Grimm because of Jeff Goldblum, because I love Jeff Goldblum so much. And I'm like, you want to know what, man? I've never seen this one. Parker Posey's pretty cool. I love me some Jeff Goldblum. It looks really unique and interesting. It has this sort of offbeat comedy, but yet it's like, you know, uh, espionage, spy stuff. I'm like, it's it's got a weird sensibility to it. I want to kind of check it out to see what it's all about. So I definitely wanted to pick up Faye Grimm. I also ended up picking up the DVD of Astro with the slipcover. I ended up picking this one up because... It really looks fascinating to me. I like the plot to it a lot. And again, I do love me some really great sci-fi. So I figured, what the hell, I might as well give this a chance, man. And yeah, and with the slip, it looks really, really cool. So I was like, for a dollar, I'm going to pull the trigger on it. So I definitely picked up this one. I also ended up getting the Blu-ray DVD combo of Atomica. And I just wanted to check this one out because of Dominic Monaghan. I mean, Tom Sizemore, certain movies he's really good in, and other movies it seems like he could literally give a shit. So I don't know where he lands on the spectrum with this one. But again, as I've told you with other movies like Astro, I do like some interesting sci-fi and horror elements. So Tom Good kind of looks cool. And uh, for a dollar for the Blu-ray? Why not? So, definitely giving this a whirl. I also ended up picking up the Blu-ray of Take Me Home Tonight. I really love this movie. And, well, I remember loving it. It's been a while since I watched it, and I definitely got to revisit it, man. But 
I was like, this is really fun. It's, it, I remember being a really funny and enjoyable movie, and I love 80s nostalgia, so I was like, why not get, get this and rewatch it again? So definitely happy to pick this one up. I also ended up getting the Blu-ray of Guns, Girls, and Gambling with the slipcover right here, guys. The really nice slipcover that I got with it. Very nice, man. I kind of wanted to check this out because of Gary Oldman as an Elvis impersonator, Christian Slater here, Dane Cook. I'm like, this is like one weird and interesting comedy, man. And I'm surprised I've never heard of this title, but I'm, I'm really interested to check this one out and see if it's worth maybe what I'm hoping it's going to be, which is just pure unadulterated fun. So I figured, why not take a gamble on this? So, yeah. And who doesn't want to see Gary Oldman playing an Elvis impersonator? I know I really do want to see it. So, yes, I'm definitely going to check this one out, guys. I also, and last but certainly not least, picked up the Blu-ray DVD digital of Her with the slipcover right here, guys. The really nice slip right here. Not bad. For a dollar, man, you really cannot beat the Blu-ray right here with the slip in perfect condition. I really love this movie, and I've never owned it in the collection before. And I'm really surprised. As much as I really love this movie, I figured I would have owned it at some point, but I never did. But this is the perfect time with the perfect slip cover on it. For only a dollar, it's, it's one hell of a great deal to get. So I decided, what the hell, man, I'm going to pull the trigger on this one. So I got that, so... I picked up all of that here with with all of this man I picked up quite the haul for sure man oh yeah man I got quite the haul for this time around at the Dollar Tree for sure guys I hope you guys picked up something really good honestly this is a really great sale guys it's it's worth it to go to these places again for only a dollar I don't care whether you're picking up one title, you're picking up 20, 30 titles, as a lot of you tell me. The fact that, I mean, this sale exists, the fact that, you know, you will go into a store and buy a movie for $1, that's crazy ridiculous. But yet, here we are. I love this sale. I love that the Dollar Tree does this every so often, and it really is worth it to check this out, guys. So definitely do that. And I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, definitely give it a thumbs up. Check out the other movie hunting Dollar Tree videos. Check out the out and abouts I do for the Blu-rays and DVD releases every single Tuesday. Check out the movie reviews, uh, other movie topic videos, much more. If you like everything that I do, movies, physical media, hit subscribe and become a part of the Film Fan Nation. Thank you guys so much for the wonderful support, the likes, so the subscribing, the great comments. I appreciate it so much. And keep up to date with everything I'm doing through Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Film Fan 108. Keep up to date with everything I'm doing, plus special pictures and videos I do from time to time as well. All right, guys. I will see you back next time for another brand new Out and About Dollar Tree video. See you later, and happy hunting.